I made Tetris in Game Maker, and it was super easy. And by super easy, I mean surprisingly frustrating. You know, the mark of a good puzzle game is one that's easy to understand but has mechanics that can take years to master. Turns out that applies to programming Tetris too. What seems like a simple game, blocks fall, blocks stack, actually has a lot of interesting little rules, like how and when blocks can rotate, when they officially lock into place, and... Okay, there are whole communities dedicated to the nuances of Tetris, and a lot of people watching probably know these better than me. So instead, I'll share my journey of how I built Tetris in Game Maker, which will hopefully help you as well in whatever it is you're doing, uh. Oh, real quick, I speedrun making games, so if you're into game development or speedrun content, or if you want to see the full speedrun of this game right here, hit that like and subscribe button. It's a new channel, and your support means so much. Seriously, that algorithm is no joke. Okay, here we go. Tetris. It's one of the games ever made. Literally. It even had a movie recently that got an 81% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Hey, that's not bad. But in case you've somehow forgotten, here's just a quick explanation. Blocks fall on a timer, they lock into place when they hit the bottom or another block. You can move them down faster, you can rotate them if the rotation doesn't push them into a wall or another block, and you get this short grace period, a single timer cycle, before the block locks into place. That grace period lets you reposition or rotate one last time. Oh, and that last part, that grace period? I thought Game Maker would actually be perfect for handling this. Here's why. Game Maker is built around objects that run event-based scripts. These objects can have sprites or not, spawn and destroy other objects, and keep everything running locally within their own little world. So like, we can spawn a hidden shape object which spawns four individual blocks, then use that shape object to control movement and rotation before eventually deleting it out and swapping it for fixed blocks handled through a controller object or whatever. This sort of creates a parent-child structure, but that term is weird to me, so let's move on. It took me about two weeks to build a prototype. I could only work on it for 10 minutes here and there. So my approach here was to use this multi-dimensional array that would store all the possible shapes in their rotation states. And as discussed earlier, I would use an object to spawn and control four individual blocks per shape. Okay, so this is a little technical, but by pre-checking the rotation states in this array, I could disable rotations that would cause collisions with walls or other blocks. This was also what made the grace period rotation possible. Now there are obviously a lot of different ways you could program Tetris, but this approach gave me a solid foundation to work from with functionality that I knew I wanted to include. So once I had the core mechanics working, spawning shapes, rotating them, locking them in place, I added a function to check and clear rows when they were filled. Then I added some animation and a scoring system and boom, prototype complete. Turning the prototype into a playable game took me just under two hours and I'll admit by this point I was ready to be done. For graphics, I took inspiration from the earliest version of Tetris I could remember, probably on the Super Nintendo, and kept the aesthetic simple. Bright colors for the shapes, a next block preview box, and a little grid for the playfield. Now, it's not perfect, it has a few bugs, but it's a solid starting point if you're looking to build your own version. If you want to see the full speed run of me making this game, which includes a link to all the code, that video should be popping up on the screen right about now. And hey, if you enjoyed this or learned something, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.